Friend lived in the apartment on the 10th floor of a real high building. Friend, his mother said on one morning, can you go into town and collect three things for me? Okay, mom, Frank answered. But he was more interested in his amazing creatures app than shopping. Can I go later? He asked. No, friend. Now, please, mom answered. All right, what do you need? Frank answered. I need a ticket to Inkstoness from the railway station. Make sure it's the cheapest ticket. The deepest biscuit, right? Repeated Frank, who was still looking at his app. Frank, please listen carefully. I said the cheapest ticket. Sorry, mom, Frank said. And they've prepared the gold stone for my bracelet. That's in the little shop between the shoe factory and the post office. Collect that too, and get some new shampoo from the chemist. Go to the one that's next to the police station. No problem, Frank said, and with his phone in his hand and mom's money in his pocket, he left the apartment. The elevator wasn't working, so he ran down the 142 steps to the street. When Frank got to the last step, he quietly repaid three, the three things that his mother wanted. The cheapest, the cheapest ticket to Inkstoness, the gold stone. But what was the third thing? Was it a new shoe? A nice weave? No, that's silly, he thought. Oh dear, I should listen more carefully. On his way into town, Frank met his friend, David. Have you seen this? He said, and showed David the app. Butterflies taste with their feet. Wow! David said. Brilliant! Are they? But I've, I've got to go now, Frank said. See you. When Frank arrived at the ticket office in where the rail station, he was see, still thinking about butterflies. I might write a story about unusual insects, he thought. The cheapest ticket to insects nest, please. Frank asked a man in the ticket office. To insects nest? Mm, let me look in my timetable, the man said. I don't know the station. No, there's no station with that name. Well, let me think, Frank said. We went to insects nest on holiday once. Is the railway station in that place? Yes. The man answered. You can catch trains to Inkstoness from platform 12. Great. The cheapest ticket to Inkstoness then, please. Thank you. Outside the railway station, Frank met his friend, Michael. Look, said, he said. Amazing, Michael said. I know, Frank said. See you. When Frank opened the door of the shop between the shoe factory and the post office, he was thinking about an eagle's huge wings, about and about flying like a golden eagle, about the countryside. He wasn't thinking about the stone in his mom's bracelet. Now, what do you need to get from here? A gold something? An old something? He thought. Hello. He said, I'm not sure, but I think my mom's old phone is here. Is it? The woman behind the desk said, wait a minute, I'll go on and look in the basement. She came back with a heavy old black telephone in her hand. Is this it? That doesn't look right, Frank said. Let me think. I sell necklaces and rings. Don't you? Oh, bracelets too. No, 
I remember. It wasn't no an old phone. It was the gold stone for her bracelet. The woman left and went to fetch it. Thanks, silly me, Frank said. When Frank was walking to the chemist, he met his friend, Sophia. Have you seen this? It's great. In 1968, two tauters flew around the moon in a row. They were fine when they came back to the earth, just a little hungry. Cool, said Sophia. I know, but I've got to go now, said Frank. See you. Frank was thinking about flying through a place with two tartars was here when he arrived at the chemist that was next to the police station. What could I what could what could I feel that wanted? He thought. Frank was thinking about shampoo. Hi Mom Mom want something from here. Was it some glue? And you go in Jim Jim shoe? He asked the man who was tying some shelves in the shop. We don't sell glue or gym shoes here. I think you made a mistake. You're right, said Frank. Now, was it something blue or kangaroo? Oh, I know. Shampoo. Sell your shampoo, please. Here you are, the man said. Anything else is soap? Bandages, toothpaste. No, thank you, Frank said. Outside the chemist, Frank met his friend Betty. He showed her the app as well. Most octopuses can check the shape, shape and their color. Really? Betty asked. That's fantastic. Yeah, see you, said Frank, and hi home. The elevator still wasn't working, so he ran out to the, uh, the 142 steps to his apartment. I'm home, he called. Great, Mom said. Did you get everything? Sure, said Frank. Will you ask me to get the deepest biscuit from an insect nest, an old phone, and a new gym shoe? Frank must look really surprised. But... She began to say, Don't worry, Mom, Frank laughed. Here, the cheapest ticket to Inter's Inkstenes, your gold stone, and your new shampoo. No problem, but next time he obeyed. I might try the things you need on my phone. Good idea, Mom said. Now show me your amazing creatures app again. It sounds brilliant. There are 160 words for came in the language that people speak where most families live.